but quite the conspiracy we have going on with the Empire, is it not? I wonder what it all will mean. I really do. I recognize this valley. This path leads to the city gates. Okay. Took a few hits, but... Let's bring these idiots down. And let me put down a shield. I imagine more of them. A long time ago, so what does he mean like a couple centuries? Because that's what I'm presuming right now. That this would have been a few centuries ago and probably before the Scoyatel even existed as a combat unit in the Imperial Army of Nilfgaard. Because that is a thing, and for those of you who haven't really been paying attention... It's also the reason why the Scoia'tael disliked the Empire, because the Imperials basically sold out the Scoia'tael and left them to die in order to get favorable terms for a peace treaty with the North after their last war. the Emperor, in order to get those terms, as I said, he basically sold out the Scoia'tael and gave them over to the North as war criminals and disavowed them and everything. Great. Is that who I think it is? Knights of the Flaming Rose. Yeah. Wonder whose side they're on. On that of whoever paid them. Hmm. Who called them, anyways? What are they doing here? Any idea who might have summoned them? Radovid. Now the scum of the Order wear the Redanian coat of arms as they burn pyres. Witch hunts are their favorite pastime. Or so I've heard. Radovid witnessed what the Order did in Vizima. He saw the Grand Master's madness with his own eyes. Yet he gave them a new home. For a good reason, I expect. That's easy. He needed a whip against Isleheart. They've made camp outside the city walls. Means they're not here in an official capacity. Are they on vacation? Maybe they just don't want to stand out. Isleheart has a dragon on her sleeve. Radovid has invited a unit of the Order's Knights. Don't forget Sheila and Hensent. It should be an interesting peace summit. I think peace might be overstating it. Lack of killing each other summit, perhaps. Though even that might be a stretch. You shouldn't let them see you. I know. To them, a good elf is a dead elf. It's not because you're an elf. It's because you're your baby. I'll try to enter the city through the caves. I advise you to do the same. The knights will know I'm daunted. Yeah. I know of a cave nearby. There are many ways to enter Loch Muin, my friend. If Radovid has summoned the Order, I'm certain the others have brought their armies as well. The city must be full of soldiers. All of them sitting as if on a witch's bomb, waiting for a spark. But that may be to our advantage. If the rulers have holed themselves up in camps, it should be easy to move about between them. Let's go before we get noticed. Agreed. Now save the game, and... 
And I am not taking a look at the fucking Order's camp. Because we are probably wanted by the Order as well. Because if you remember from The Witcher 1, we killed Siegfried during that whole anarchy thing in Vizima at the end of the game. We killed Siegfried. So they're probably not going to be too pleased with us. Oh yeah, that's right. That creature was in the place where... Well, short version, we had to kill one right before that whole mess with the Letho. And Yorveth was trying to use it as either a trap to kill us or a way to test that we would do for his purposes. I'm not entirely certain. But yeah. Anyways. Get them out of the picture. Drop another shield. Again, drop a shield. Drop another one. And down that thing goes, thank goodness. For the time being, I'm going to maintain my whole adrenaline thing so that we can kill people around us quickly if I end up getting surrounded or needing to take out a large group of foes. I'd like to have the option, so I will maintain my adrenaline so that I can make use of it in certain locations. There's a forested valley on the other side of the city, once teeming. <laughs> Okay, drop that. I know. That's why we went around. What exactly killed us? Hmm. Getting a little bit of a history lesson about the world from the perspective of a very old and somewhat wise, you could argue, elf. Uh, while we're heading to this location and during a battle. Interesting. Drop that. Get a shield up. That's them down. So your vest, let's move. We do rather have places we need to get. Righty. Come on then. Let's go. Try to not stick around with all these the damn harpies. The As you've the probably figured out by this point, I do not like harpies. Eh. I see. We're on the fringes we should find what we came so for. So the Vren death was basically kind of like, basically disease, kind of like how a lot of the Native Americans in the Americas died, that sort of thing. What is this? And should we be worried? 
those are my questions right now. Gargoyles. Do I need to worry about them? Should I be worrying about the presence of these gargoyles is the thing I would like to know. Come on, then. Let's drop that shield. That's one of them down. Shield. And my death. Reload time. But we're in Lock Muin now. Which means, if my opinion about this is correct, we are approaching the end game. It should be quite end game. number of these fellows. Shields up. We've got you down. Again, and once again, there appear to be more of them than I thought. I assumed it was only three. Apparently there are at least four, if not more. Let's back off and abuse the fact that... Okay, we could just die instead. I was about to say we'll abuse the fact that Yorveth can't get killed because he's a plot essential character. But we got killed instead. Oh well. Let's get our silver sword out. Since we'll be going up against them. And they're obviously magical. I think I was using the steel sword before. It seems likely. That, or I had the silver sword equipped when I was fighting the, those humans before. I'm not sure which, honestly. Shields up. Well, that's you down. That was a pretty big hit. Right. 
these guys are getting pretty intense with their attacks. Come on, shield me. Back off. That was a tremendous risk of mine. Now we are down to two of them, though. because they like to explode in fire. I don't like that, by the way. Fire explosions tend to annoy me. Okay. What's going on? Is this some bug? The place it would standing was probably a bug, but beyond that, I can't think of, I can't see it as being buggy in that regard. There. So, we'll save the game. After that fight, I have no desire to go through another like it. Get on through. See what happens next. Oh, I save and then I'm confronted by a save. Interesting. Now, Philly Philly, where are you? Our dear friend Philippa is hiding. We can't have that. Certainly not. There's something up here. Enemies. They gagged Philippa in the nick of time. She almost cast a spell. Ah. Uh, in the Redanian dungeon now, in special shackles. Redanian right dungeon. Place. I wonder what they'll do to her. Either the execution or the monsters will have their fun. They say Logmoin's dungeons are full of scum of all kinds. No idea what they locked her up for, but every sorceress is guilty of something. Sorceress enough, racism, eh? Weeping for her. Apparently, Redanians don't Philippa, like well. sorceresses no very much. If they killed her, you can forget about healing Saskia. They must guard her as heavily as the Emperor's bedchamber. Will not get in there. Emperor's bedchamber. I'm in no hurry to visit the Emperor's and bed chamber. how would you know that, Yorveth? Hmm? Look for a passage through the sewers. I'll locate Alhart's quarters. If she didn't expect to be arrested, I may find something interesting there. Okay. The tunnels beneath the city sound reasonable. They used to lead almost everywhere, though some passages may have collapsed during the fires. It's still worth a shot. Let's go then. I'll find Philippa. You search her quarters. Right. We learned a lot the last time we browsed through her things. Va fail, Gwynblade. Yes. I'm not too fond of the idea of letting myself get arrested. Quite honestly. I'd like to avoid that, if at all possible. And 
That's a fast death. Right. Died nice and quick there. can't meditate, and if you're wondering why I was trying to, I'm fairly certain. And I died. I should have just rushed through the area. Honestly, why I'm trying to meditate there, I'm fairly certain that I've leveled up at some point since the last time I applied points, though I could be mistaken. I would just like to check that, honestly. I don't believe you killed Foltest. I didn't. But a bounty is a bounty. I'm sure you understand. As a professional, <laughs> it's nothing personal. <sighs> One more windbag. Okay. We are apparently attracting quite a lot of attention from the locals, and it's not the right kind of attention, neither. Sorry. Sorry, doggy. I didn't mean to do that. When we think and let's get rid of as many of these idiots as we can. And now, shield. He's but one man, damn it. <laughs> shield. And murder his Not face. I must have and down go the fucking bounty hunters. Who apparently enjoy wasting my time. Because these guys are worthless bastards. No redeeming qualities whatsoever. Okay. Which way do I go now? Up like this, I think. I'm going to try to reach our friends the sewers. 
as opposed to getting myself arrested. If at all possible. Finish them. There. And yes. My preferred method would be to go to the sewers. Though how possible that's going to be is up for debate. I still want to give it a shot. like the Nils Guardians over there are going to give me issues. Their flag is hostile already and all. Though Nilfgaard, I don't get why Nilfgaard gives a damn about us murdering Foltest. I mean Foltest is a northern uh, monarch, and they've tried to conquer the north like two or three times now, so one would think I'd be more likely to get about uh, a basket of new weapons and a, yeah, you'd think I'd be more likely to get presents than them trying to kill me. I don't know, maybe it's political reasons. That would kind of make sense. Maybe that's what they want to be doing, but for political reasons, they can't. It's entirely possible. you tell me. I don't work with sorceresses. This is no job for me. What's going on? Are you about to fight? The Conclave has forbidden dueling. You can't just back out. We agreed. We have commitments to fulfill. You did take an advance on your fee. And I'm keeping it. Don't you follow me. Just at a glance, I'm gonna say that guy's a bastard. A word, will, master. Okay. What do you want? Yeah, We've been that. looking for someone like you. A witcher? Someone to protect our expedition. <sighs> okay. You're going to need to pay me though. I don't work for free. Sounds like regular witcher's work to me. It'll cost you. We never imagined otherwise. Our employer spares no expense on scientific undertakings. You may expect a handsome fee. After you complete the task. Understandable. In advance. We'd prefer to pay a lump sum at the end. Let's see. Very well. I'll be willing to agree to that, but it will cost you more. Fine cost you extra. We shan't haggle once we reach Ebderhanna's laboratory. The sorceress has quite a budget. Quite a budget. Quite a body. Okay, now, much time. details, Let please. Details. The sorceress will reveal everything. We're on our way to meet her. I can only say it concerns Ebderhanna. His laboratory, to be precise. Ebderhanna is dead. Who's this sorceress, exactly? I know a thing or two about monsters, and about sorceresses. What's this one's name? I'm sorry, but we cannot disclose her name until you agree to join us. 
Nice talking to you then. Cynthia. Her name is Cynthia. Okay. Do we know the Cynthia? Time for a memory flashback, apparently. <laughs> oh, oh my god. It, <laughs> it's our friend from earlier in the game that Philippa was whipping. <laughs> that is so funny. But who is Derhana? What was Derhana doing in this city? Everyone's heard of his thousand genie curse. But few know that he also had a penchant for the history of Loch Muin. He was particularly interested in the Vrans and their ultimate decline as a civilization. In his memoirs, he mentions that he left his archive here. Well, then, That's maybe you should have a little chat with Yorveth. I mean, the man obviously knows a thing or two about the Vrans. Then again, Yorveth is technically a terrorist. So, he's not exactly about to talk to Derhanna, plus the guy is dead. So that's also a bit of a sticking point. But, sure, I'll help you. I mean, I know we're in a rush with this whole Philippa Saskia thing. But I am still a witcher and I need to make money doing my job. And they're offering money, so yes. Alright, I'm willing to help. <laughs> you won't regret it. Where do we start? We've gained access to an ancient crypt where mages were laid to rest. It's beneath that tower. Our companions await us there. Okay. I'll get on that soon enough. There's plenty of people I can trade with around here. Check out the map. I'd like to find the inn myself. To be honest. As well as the notices for contracts. Let's see. Rid the city of gargoyles. Mighty Numa's challenge. Mighty Numa wants you. Mighty Numa, the world's greatest strongman, challenges the brave among you. Test your arm, nay the strength of your very being, against Mighty Numa. Come to the city's central square and accept Mighty Numa's challenge. And uh, some hairstyle crap. Renounce magic, I tell you. Shatter your towers and crystal walls. Renounce magic. Break your wands uh, and burn your uh, I rather like my magic, honestly. Black cat. And that guy is batshit insane. Let's see here, though. Let's see. Gargoyle contract. Likewise, the frog. But I can't go near those guys because they are guards and will want me dead. But I need to find a book on gargoyles. See if anyone around here has one. I'm Geralt. Brass of Bannard. I remember you from Thanad. I believe I saw you in Oxenford too. Oh really? Seems we only ever meet on Elvenland. Indeed. But I suspect you're not here to chat about. Now I'm looking for books on gargoyles, actually. Actually, I'm here because of your weapon expertise. But apparently, this guy just sells I'm weapons. No you're the best swordsmith among mages. I'm more interested in the cultural relics of other races, actually. I'm going to need a solid cultural relic in my hand. <laughs> I guess the circumstances require haste. 
Do you know anything about gargoyles? Tell me what you know about those gargoyles that are bothering you. They were servants of the mages who once lived in Loch Muin. The mages left, but the gargoyles remained behind. They're still lethal. The quarters they guard are simply inaccessible. I see. Does that give me what I need? No, it does not. The White Wolf? Yes? I'm not having this conversation with you. How are things? You're either very unobservant or very rude. I thought I'd or I just some of my don't give a damn. Past, chat with them and reminisce, but they all turn their heads away and treat me like air. Mages aren't known for being polite. You're telling me. They threw me out of Bannard the first chance they got. Must have beaten the Chancellor one too many times. They've all forgotten me and I believe I've had enough. I'm getting rid of the grimoires and amulets. I don't want anything to do with mages. I'd like to cast an eye at those if you don't mind. Sure. I'll cast both if you want. All right. Let's trade. Only books about sorceresses and the lodge. How disappointing. So, are you a sorceress now? It's not that simple. A pass is simply not enough. But Philippa Eilhart summoned me here for an important exam, so I hope to be one soon. An exam? A secret one. I'm not even sure how to prepare. I'm cramming intensely, everything bit by bit, just to be sure. Good luck. Still willing to sell me potions and herbs? I'm a student, aren't I? Every little copper counts. Oh, right. This was that lady. We met her back in Edern. That's right. And she was a merchant there, too. Now, let's see. Book on gargoyles. I'll take that. And I'm going to read it. Da, 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 da. Thank you so much. Find and deactivate magical seals. I'll do that quest soon enough, but it's not on the priority list. Next, I'm going to find and punch repeatedly Mighty Numa. Freak! Hey there. Mighty Numa, I would like to beat you up. You lose, Sonic. Arm wrestle? Are you the Mighty Numa? Who's asking? Someone who wants to see if your nickname suits you. Then come to the circus and watch me rip off the plowing chains right round my body. You've got a big mouth. And you've pissed off the mighty Numa. Put down your coin and give me your hand. Deal. Let's wrestle. <laughs> Two hundred orange. High as we can go. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Didn't they go my way. Tough, but... Fuck you. Let me guess. Behold the 
way to spoil my fun. Yeah. The mighty Numa breaks the necks of bulls, bends iron bars, defeats everyone. Numa. His secret lies in the mushrooms and herbs cultivated in Elanda and picked in the mornings by virgin priestesses. They can be yours for a very reasonable price. Yeah, I'm calling bullshit on that. But I'll still look. Anabolic steroids, eh? Fine, I'll take one. Mighty Numa thing goes on the back burner for now. These magical seals. That can also wait. And it'll put off rescuing Philippa. Shocking as that may be. This expedition in the cellar beneath the tower, on the other hand, this is something that I can do now. I'll check out where this quest goes for me, and we will see what the outcome is. As I have to admit, this whole burial, former burial place of sorceresses thing, it's something I'm more than a little curious about. And I feel like I should sate my curiosity and visit. Hmm. Quiet. Stand ready. He killed Vanamar. And many other mages. I know who he is, Cynthia. In the same city as Philippa, and you didn't even bother to change your name. That takes balls. Philippa's out of the picture. She's been arrested. And I was supposed to die, but I didn't. Grave error. I'll make you a deal. Okay. Well, much as I hate to admit it, right now, where Triss is, is not the foremost thing on Geralt's mind. He's more focused on this mess with Saskia and Philippa, so he's not really thinking about it at the moment. I mean, not to say he's forgotten or anything, but we just have more important things on our mind. And I can't think of any reason why we would reasonably want to enter the Nilfgaardian camp. So we're not going to ask either of those, but what exactly are you looking for down here? Why are you here? We suspect Dare Henna's laboratory may contain documents and books that could be useful to the Imperial Academy of Science. That wasn't even close to funny. You're lying. We don't know what's inside. Dare Henna was a talented man, but also an eccentric. What do you hope to find? That's confidential. I cannot tell you. 
Regardless, we need your help. The laboratory lies beneath the Redanian camp, which we cannot penetrate above ground. And obviously they are not just the going to let you in. We can't manage it without a capable swordsman. And Geralt certainly fits the bill, but if you're offering a deal, that involves paying work, generally. So the least I can do is to hear you out. Go on, then. Any deals we make will not be on your terms. Hear me out. So be it. Witcher, help me complete my mission. Help me open Dare Henna's laboratory. What'll you give me? I've read the intelligence reports. I know your past. There are things in there, important things you don't remember. I could force you to tell me. I don't think so. Will you torture me? We both know you couldn't. I think we can agree to give her a hand with the caveat, and we're not telling her this, obviously, that if we decide what she is trying to retrieve would be too dangerous and we don't want it in the hands of the people it would end up with if she took it, then we will kill her. So fine, I'll help you out. Fine. I'll help you open the laboratory. In exchange, I'll tell you all I can. Do we have a deal? Yeah. Besides, this One is the thing. sort of thing that uh, uh, I think... We made a deal. I'm even faster with my sword. No tricks. Are we likely to encounter okay. Or a related species? Perhaps other monsters? That is how this world's built. Sewers are infested with monsters. As I was saying, I think Geralt would have been more likely to say yes to that. I just misinterpreted what that I won't work for Nilfgaard line was actually going to say. But... I think I'm going to cut this recording here. It's been going for a very long time, all told. So, this has been Dark Phoenix Gaming, and thank you for watching my Let's Play of The Witcher 2 Enhanced Edition. If you've enjoyed this, then please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to see more like this. I'll see you next time.